So welcome back. We are here looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. This is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, August 24, 2021. If you like support channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And this was an absolutely awesome day for the market in general. US dollar fell off a cliff and more than a half a percent it fell, but we have not been basically broken any support levels of uh, of any significance. This was always going to happen. We did have a massive pullback on Friday. We were at the top of the, the bullish band, and at the moment we we're falling back to support, which should be around the 20 exponential and the 20 simple moving average down here at the 92.66. If this breaks and we have the 50 down here, then, the, uh, then we have the 300, the bottom of the bullish band, and then the 200. And we should have a massive shift in the US dollar index if we basically break to all of this at once. Momentum is turning. If you look at technical English, we can see the MACD is still bullish, the CASIC is bearish, and the RSI is bearish as well. But we may just see similar moves as we have seen in the past and just go higher. If we find support here at the 20 exponential, we may stabilize and then continue up towards the 94 and then we'll see commodities fall yet again. So let's look at oil. So oil got very close to the 200 moving average and then had a massive rally day above 5%. Did buy into this and left it just above 3% because I thought that was where we were going to see this pullback, but it continued another 2%. Can't get all of them, but this was a really good day today. Um, if we manage to break about the 20 exponential, then we are probably going towards the 50. But at the moment, I still expect something similar to this happening. Rally up towards the 20 exponential and then retesting the 200 moving average, which we have not tested yet. MACD is still bearish, the CASIC is bullish, and the RSI is bullish as well. It was really low. The RSI was nearly over, uh, oversold, roughly. It was considerably oversold. And therefore, we did always going to have this massive rally. Question is whether or not this continues and goes back to the upside. Um, this move kind of, I would expect this to rally up towards the 20 and then go back or stabilize here for a while before uh, going down or going up. So let's look at natural gas. So natural gas also rallied today, got to the middle of the bullish band and then pulled back. So Nothing uh, very impressive. Um, if we manage to break above the middle of the bullish band, then we could go to the very highs here, back towards 4.1, but uh, we did not break above the middle of the bullish band. Uh, MACD is still bearish, so Kassig is bullish and RSI is bullish as well. If we get rejected here, then we may well fall back towards the 50 moving average and break up um, of the 50 moving average drops us to 3.5 and then the, all the way down to the 200 moving average. But the conditions still very, uh, uh, very hot in North uh, America. So and until that ends, um, this will just continue going higher, most likely. So let's look at copper. So copper did also have a good day today. We did find support down here at the 200 moving average on Thursday, and now it has rallied up towards the 20 exponential, but pulled back quite a bit at the end of the session. MACD is still bearish, stochastic is bullish, and the RSI is bullish as well. So the question is whether or not we manage to break above these two moving averages and go back towards the very highs here, or we get rejected here and fall back towards the 200 moving average, and then we stabilize for some time. Break about below the 200, opens the door to the 300 down here at 3.6. So let's look at gold. So US dollar falls and gold rallies. So uh, we also saw uh, treasury bills um, rally. So that did not have that much effect. They're still very low, but US dollar falling that had a major effect on on precious metals. So we got very close to the 200 moving average. There is nearly no pullback here. So we may see this continue uh, rallying up towards roughly 1831. Here it takes where we find these tops, we should be massive resistant. MAC is, the MACD is bullish, the CASIC is bullish, and the RSI is bullish as well. If we get rejected here, then we may fall back 
towards the very lows. So let's look at silver. So silver also rallied. Um, it's not looking as impressive as gold. There is still that 20 exponential right here. I and mean, last time we tested it, we just fell off a cliff. So we got close. And now if we manage to break above that, then we could go heading towards a 50 moving average, upper 25. Otherwise get rejected here, then we'll most likely fall back towards the very low 0 0.22. So MACD is still bearish. Stochastic is also bearish and RSI is bullish at this point. So let's look at platinum. Sorry. So platinum has rallied up towards the 20 exponential and we didn't get further than that. So it kind of looks like we're just doing more of the same. Rallying up towards the 20, get rejected, rejected and rejected and so on and so on. So until we basically break about the 20 and the 50 and probably also 200 moving average, I would not, um, I don't know, would not be a buyer in this market. Is selling the rallies um, is kind of what people have been doing uh, for the last uh, month and a half. And and if you get rejected here, it's very, very plausible that we'll fall back towards uh, 960, which is the very bottom here. MACD is uh, bullish at this point. Stochastic is bullish and the RSI is bullish as well. We have two massive green days, so these second indicators will take that into consideration. But we need to break above the 20 exponential in order to get higher here. And um, until now, it ha that has not happened. So let's look at Pallium. So Pallium had a really nice day today. Uh, we did rally all the way up to close towards the 300 moving average and then pull back quite significantly. This was significantly oversold, so this was always going to happen. Question is whether or not we'll see a rally like this one in the next few in the next um, a few trading days. We did find massive support down here, which also was previous support from, from last year. And the uh, question is whether or not we managed to go higher from here or that we just rally up towards the 200 and then break down. So this was massive support uh, last year for a very long time. So in order to get through this, uh, this get through this point it will be very difficult. MACD is still bearish, stochastic is bullish, and the RSI is bullish as well. So let's look at aluminium. So aluminium did rally today, not uh, as much as pallium and other uh, metals, but uh, we're just continuing a grinding higher. So we hit the lows here at the 20, 50 moving average yet again, and now we're heading back towards the top of the bullish band at 26.25. MACD is uh, bearish, stochastic is bullish, and the RSI is bullish as well. So let's look at nickel. So nickel has rallied up towards the 20 exponential, did not manage to break above that, pull back quite aggressively. So the question is whether or not we manage to break above that. If we if we break below these candlesticks here, then we may drop towards the 18,200 moving average. But it kind of looks like we're doing just more of the same. Here also we did break below the 50 and then rallied. The same did here. So we may turn around here and head back towards 20 Okay, that is possible, but uh, tomorrow we'll basically say where we are going. Uh, MACD is still uh, bearish, the classic is bearish, and the RSI is bullish at this point. So let's look at sugar. So sugar uh, continues to fall, but uh, we are not falling that significant. And um, 20 exponential down here at 0 0.1909 should be uh, where we'll find support if we break below here. 50 moving average comes into play. MACD is bound to cross the signal line. That's a uh, bearish indication. Stochastic is bearish and the RSI is bearish as well. If we turn around here, then the highs of 0.2031 20, 20, should be uh, resistant. So let's go cotton. So cotton did also rally. We hit uh, support down here at uh, 20 exponential. And at this moment, it looks like we're going back towards the top of the range here at 0 0.9604. Uh, 20 exponential and a 50 moving average 
have been holding. So every time this basically falls towards those support levels, so support, uh, there we basically see buyers come in and basically buy this to the upside. And we're in a very nice channel here. We did get significantly overbought here and then it fell quite aggressively, but still 20 is holding and has been for quite some time. MACD is becoming bearish, stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is flat at this point. So let's look at Kokoa. Yes, it continues to fall and it basically does what the, it usually does. It has these massive rallies and then it falls apart towards 61.8 uh, Fibonacci retracement and then it also rallies and then completely falls apart. And it kind of looks like we're doing the same here. Question is whether or not we go towards uh, the low Fibonacci retracement at 61.8 or we basically break even lower. Uh, MACD is uh, still bullish, but it's turning around quite aggressively. And stochastic is bearish and the RSI is bearish as well. So let's look at wheat. So wheat um, did rally up towards uh, 729 and then gave most of those gains back. So not a very good not a very bullish shine even though we rallied today it's uh, we needed to break this candlestick in order to go higher this point is more likely that we'll head towards the 50 moving average and the 200 moving average um because we got rejected there so macd is uh, bearish stochastic is bearish and rsi is bearish as well if we manage to break above uh, this candlestick here then we may go to the highs but as we get rejected there, it is more likely that will basically fall to the downside. So, hope you find it helpful. You want to support your channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And good luck and thank you very much.